take Facebook for example. Facebook is just when you see it, when you download the application on your phone, you know it looks very very fine. But there are a lot of um, work that went in, into building that application you call Facebook, right? And those people that built that Facebook, they have what we call tech skills. A lot of them are, are software engineers. A lot of a lot of them are software developers. A lot of them are web developers and likes. But I don't want to I don't want to make you feel lost in the old thing that I'm talking about. I don't want it to be like, oh, what is software engineering? What is web development? What is this? What is that? So let me just do a recap of what I, I mentioned about tech skills. Tech skill is, is like being is like having the ability to speak the language that your computer or your phone or any electronic gadget that that you have can understand so you can once you can once you can speak that language you can be able to you know like build applications that can like game applications i'm very sure a lot of you plays um, candy crush on your phone make websites and ultimately you can build robots if you can understand the languages that computers speak so now, okay, let me now go to um, why do we need to learn a tech skill? Why is tech skill so important? I will use myself as a case study. I will use myself as an example. You know, I studied chemistry, like Pastor Biola said. I studied chemistry in school. And all I did for five years was just to focus on that chemistry. If I had this same opportunity that you guys have now, like I have someone to teach me all these things at the age of, let's say, 10 or 12, probably by now I would have built my own Facebook or built something very, very huge. But I got to understand um, tech skills very lately. It was after I had graduated and I was looking for a job I could not get. So that was when the whole um, tech, learning tech skill thing started you know, coming into my, into my hearing. Like I started seeing people say, learn tech skill. It's not about what you studied in school. It's not about chemistry. It's not about medicine. It's not about nursing. It's not about you know, all those normal courses that you hear your mates or your elderly elderly um, siblings talk about. So that was when I started learning data analytics. So I currently work as a data analyst after studying um, chemistry for five years. Now, I'm not saying that going to school to study something like chemistry is wrong, but I need, you, you need to understand that beyond what you studied in school, I'm very sure some of you are in school and you're already studying something. So beyond that, you need to, like, the world is evolving in such a way that if you don't have a tech skill now, even if you are a medical doctor, medical doctors are learning tech skills now. Nurses are learning tech skills now. Engineers are learning tech skills now. So irrespective of what you study or what you plan to study, if you have not started studying anything in the university, I think it's a plus for you. You can be able to, you know, choose the kind of course that you would um, study in the school. But if you are in school already, is this is the time you are supposed to, you know, you know, upgrade yourself as you are studying chemistry on one side or biology or anything. You should be able to pick up a tech skill by the side so that it will give you a hedge when you are looking for a job. You won't be like me. That after studying chemistry, I sat, I was at home for almost a year and that was when I had to pick up a tech skill and I was able to get a job with it. I believe you are following me now. I can't hear them. All. Are you following me? Yes, we can hear you. Sorry, I missed this stuff. Okay. All right. So, um, so why do we need to learn a tech skill? Number one point I want you to note, those of you that have pen and notebooks with you, the first point I want you to note is that tech skills help you to secure your future employment. Do you get that? Yes. yes. It helps you to secure your future em employment. It gives you more chance to That's explore in whatever career path you find yourself. Sorry, are you saying something? No, no, no. We're just repeating. Okay. So, number two, secondly, Tech skills helps you to improve your capacity for problem solving. It makes you to work smarter and you could, okay, let, let me take for example now. I'm in Lagos, you people are in Sokoto. 
if there is no tech tech involved in the way we, we communicate, I will need to travel down from Lagos. Do you know I will need to travel down from Lagos to Sokoto to come and teach you this thing? But because of technology, technology has changed the way we think, the way we work, in fact, the way we live. That is why I can be in Lagos and be speaking to people in Sokoto. So tech skill improves our capacity, you know, to solve problem. Problems like um, differences in distance. As I'm speaking to you in Sokoto, I can speak like this to people in the UK, in, the, in America, in Germany, anywhere around the world, and I'll still be in my house in Lagos. Did you get that second point? Yes. Now, thirdly, I don't know if you, you might have been hearing people say and uh, talk about it a lot. They will say tech is the new oil money. That is where money is now. I will not lie to you. Once you have a tech skill, you, you, you improve your chance of getting a good job and getting a good pay. So tech creates a new source of income. I mean, a bigger source of income for you. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not, it's not magic. You know, by the time, okay, I will still talk about the different tech skills you can learn. So it's not that, okay, maybe you learn tech skill in one week and then you start making money. I mean, you need to, it's like you going to a university, you learn over an extended period of time. And then once you have learned and you know what you are doing, then you can put in into getting a job. And trust me, tech skill will pay you more. Let me use myself as an example again. I remember when I graduated, after studying chemistry for five years, I took up a job, a teaching job. I could not get any other job than just teaching job. Guess how much they are paying me? Or guess how much I was paid? <laughs> I, I, was, I was paid 29,000 Naira. As a graduate, after five years, after studying for five years in school, when I got that pay, I did the job for like three months and then I just got angry and resigned. Now, let me not shock you. After I learned a tech skill and I put in for a, a training program in that tech skill line, in that tech line, I was being paid. I don't want to mention how much I was paid, but I was paid multiples of that 29,000 era. So you can imagine, tech skill gave, gave me the opportunity to be able to you know, get more pay, get more money. Don't ask me how much they gave me, but I'm telling you that I, I got multiples, like multiples of that 29,000. Now, if you now look at the current economy, the current situation of the country, how can I survive on 29,000 era? Imagine I'm married and I have two children. How? How will I eat? How will I feed? How will I pay for my expenses? How, how, what will I do with the 29,000? So I'm just trying to emphasize that tech is the new oil money. Now to the fourth point now, I've talked about, I've talked about this before now. I said tech, tech, learning a tech skill will give you a competitive advantage. Now, even though I study chemistry, if I still want to do something in chemistry, but, but for, the, for the fact that I have a tech skill already, if I add that skill to what I learned in school, it will give me an edge over someone who studied chemistry and there is no additional skill he or she has. So if you, for those of us in Lagos, it's very, very competitive over here, like very, very competitive. If you graduate with a first class, there are plenty first class graduates here. So what sets you apart? is the kind of skill that you can bring to the table. That is what sets you apart. So tech skills give you a competitive over um, anybody you are, maybe you are you want to get a job somewhere and then 10 people apply and you are one of them. Tech skill give you an edge over every other person. Do you understand that? Respond. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, and for some of us that feel like I don't want to work for anybody, I want to start a business. I'm very sure there are potential businessmen and women here. I know some of you want to start a business. You want to you know, just be on your own. You don't want to work for anybody. Tech skill also can help um, improve your business ideas. Having a tech skill can, you know, 
give your business that okay let me, let me let me let me take for example if you have a business and you have the ability you have gotten the skill to build a website you know you don't need to pay extra you don't need to give another person money to build your own business website you can build your own website by yourself um put your product on your website and people can go to your website to buy what you are selling so that's another advantage of tech skill um okay so let me go to what are the skills to learn i believe the next person coming after me would expatiate more of this more on this i don't know so what are the tech skills you can learn there are a lot of them that you can learn starting with what i'm currently doing you can learn data science in case i'm too fast please let me know you can learn data science and under data science you have we have you can be a data scientist you can be a data analyst you can be a data engineer you can be a business intelligence developer like a lot of things you can be if you learn if you try to if, if you say you want to you know venture you, into data science by one please can you help us say that one by one again thank one you by one. okay you if you are into data science or if you want to go into data science you can be a data scientist that's number one you can be a data analyst that's number two you can be a data engineer you can be a business intelligence developer. Did you get that? What was the first one? Data scientist, data analyst, data analyst, data engineer, then business intelligence developer. Business intelligence developer. And you can also be a business intelligence analyst. Analyst. yes yeah. so for this role there are lots of tools lots of um tech tools that you can learn in case you are interested in data science i don't want to take i think my time is almost off so i have a note here i will send to pastor biola and then he will share it with you pastor biola i think that's fine yeah thank you very much uh can, can we appreciate uh victoria thank you so All much right. we really All appreciate right. we're, we're going to get back to you with um with questions and uh, okay. just just uh hang around so that you can note our questions. so if you have any question now before you forget you can write it down to get the second guest speaker is coming up and uh, we are going to we are going to put the questions together after that, and they are going to answer the questions. So before you forget, okay. if you have any question, write it down. Okay. So um, let me just let me let me quickly say this. So aside from data science, there are also um, other tech skills that has different aspects that you can venture into. There's software engineering, there's cyber security. There's product management and there is UI and UX design. So, but I'll, I have the list here and every uh, all the career prospects under each of the um, tech field. So, I will send it to Pastor Biola, and I think uh, I can I can I can put a full stop here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Um, we are going to give her a love clap later. Uh, but <laughs> the second person that we're going to be uh, inviting is another beautiful person. And um, you'll be, you'll not be surprised that is somebody that has been here in Sokoto with us before. He has um, been inside his auditorium. He has also uh, uh, been in the technical, he stayed in the family house for uh, quite some time. And uh, it will be very easy for you to, to relate with him. His name is uh, Bro Bayo, as we always call him, but his professional name is uh, Isaiah um, Akinremi Adebayo. And he's a product designer and a brand designer. As you can see on his LinkedIn page, you can see UI UX there. Uh, I was telling you that some people can design apps like the way you have your GT Bank app, your Facebook app, you know, those kind of things. And um, 
is somebody that can that can really talk about talk about that for us so i would like you to really pay attention as he's coming to 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 speak with us so that um, you'll be able to gain uh, one or two things um there was a time last year that i wanted to do uiux i guess uh, it will use this opportunity to talk to us why we should uh, invest in it without wasting much of our time uh bro bio as we fondly call you around there you are welcome you can unmute yourself and uh, introduce yourself to us i would like to see your face sir. thank you very much <laughs> first of all uh, good afternoon sir can you hear me yes can you hear you loud and clear can we say hi to him it's fine i'm coming in. just don't give me a sec <laughs> He's trying to check his face, uh, his face beats. Okay. So, okay. Sorry, my face. <laughs> Happy New Year, sir. You have the floor. Thank you. Thank you, Rosmi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks so much, Pastor Viola. So, um, this has been a great, great honor. And great time to spend with you as you have said my name is Akinomi Isaiah Adibayo and most of you will definitely know me and some of you might know me so I serve in Sokoto State 2018-2019 so I've been sent with my family so we are like one so and I just want to use this opportunity I know um, Pastor Mrs Scott might be listening I just want to appreciate her for me I love you so much man and thanks so much for putting this together, Pastor Bella. And to my able sister, Pastor Mrs. Susanna, a great humor. <laughs> so, so let's let's just go straight to it. And okay, before I jump deep into it, let me just thank my the first speaker, Mrs. Somotayo. Thank you so much. You've done a lot of job. And I'm very sorry for coming late because I was in church, so I just have to run down to just prepare for it. So, and you understand the traffic of leaders it can be very tedious. So let's let's jump straight into it. She has said a lot. She has said a lot. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. So she had said a lot, a lot, a lot about tech, tech, because we've been hearing about tech, left and right, center, everywhere. Everything is just about tech, tech. But I just want us to know and understand something about tech. So when we when you hear tech. You just want to be, you want to go into tech, you want to go into tech. When you hear tech, what, what comes to your mind? Can I get a response for that? What comes to your mind when you hear tech? What comes to your mind when you hear tech? I can't hear them. <laughs> can I, can I, sorry, Pastor Bella, can I just have someone to just speak to the, speak to the mic so that I can hear better? So I just want us to, to move together. What up? Hello. So let me let me just let me continue. So when you hear tech, too many people think about money. So when you hear tech, the first thing people think about is money. That oh tech is money tech is dollar is this is that they don't think about what the tech actually means you have to know the basic you have to know the foundation of tech that's the first thing and when we see tech tech is like short form of technology and tech is a, is a tool listen tech is a tool is a software is a skill that is, that is being developed by someone to make our work much more easier or to provide a solution to something Tech is a tool, is a software, or is a, is a is a skill that is being developed by someone to provide a solution or to make our work much more easier. So let me let me go, let me let me let me just explain more about that. So for example, now we have a lot of, we have a lot of tools. I'm a product designer. So I'm a product designer. Some people call it product designer, some people call it real UX designer. So it depends on what you want to call it. Either you call it folder designer or you call it UI UX designer. So I'm a folder designer. And in my field, there, there we have a lot of tools that we make use of. 
So some people have built that that too. For for someone like me to make use of it to provide a solution for someone else, like for users, for example, I build app, I build websites. So they have provided they have provided the tools for me to use to provide a solution or to make someone else's work much more easier. So that's 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 what text means. And I just want to let me just chip in this. Let me let me change your mission about tech. So tech fine. We want to go into tech because we want to make money. That is fine. We want to make some dollar. That is fine. But when you hear tech, I want you to see it as a something that okay, it's a problem that you are finding the solution to. That is someone someone has a problem that you need to find the solution to, to that thing. Okay, let me let me take this as a scenario. For example, I built I built an app, a user interface for one bank here in Lagos. They wanted to rebuild their bank out to other bank on their card, ATM card, using their app on their app. So they wanted me to redesign the app, the interface for them. So they reached out to me. But they are having a problem in, in a way that when users, when they try to place an order for a new card, it's very difficult for them to do. So they reach out and I find out that okay, we just have to make some research. We have to know what users, the problem users are facing and how to solve it to make sure that it suits what users want. That's what text is all about. Fine, at the end of the job, I got my money and I move on. That's the end goal. Okay, money, I move on. But the first thing that comes to my mind is the problem and the solution I'm providing to that problem. And when we talk about tech, Another thing is tools. You have to. You can't just say you want to go into tech without into tech without learning one tools or, or the other. Even if you want to go, if you want to go into data analysis, you must know how to use Excel at least Excel very well because you'll be dealing with database and a lot of things. So there are some things you know how to use Python. Those are skills. Those are tools. So. That's what I would just say as an introduction into tech. Then when we talk about some skills you can learn when it comes to tech, we have a lot, we have a bunch of skills. We have a bunch of tech skills you can go into. She, she has mentioned a little out of it. She mentioned about data, data analyst, being a data analyst. So me as a product designer or you are your designer, we are brand designer. Even in design alone, we have a whole lot. We have graphic design. We have in you you are UX alone, we have it's been divided into different different segments. Because UI design is different from US design. If you want to go, that's if you want to go into UI US design. UI design is different from US design. You are going to learn the two together. But once you learn it, you have to pick one and focus on it. That's what we call niche down. You have to niche down to what you want to focus on. Then if you want to go into UI design, we have different type of UI in this in UI design too. It's being niche down. We have websites, website UI design, we have app UI design. And when we come into app UI design, we have something we call maybe you want to venture into fintech, you want to be designed, and you want to focus on fintech industry you want to focus on gaming industry you have to niche down so that people will know that okay this person this is the solution this person is providing they will just see you as okay it's providing this solution it's providing that solution what exactly is he doing that's one thing i want you to know about it and believe me this opportunity that you guys have now like she said we don't we don't have it forget the fact that i study computer engineering in school I don't have it when I was when I was small. Tech was not that that topic people were talking about back then. But now you have you have the privilege, you have the you have for all what it takes, you have people to put you together, you have people to tell you what it takes to become something. It's it's a whole lot. Like believe me, it's a whole lot. So let me let me just say this. I have some couples of friends. You might be thinking that okay, hey, I'm in school, uh, but I'm studying a group. Or well, I'm studying animal science. Uh, how am I going to, to do this thing? This person that is talking to you, I'm a bunch of a of a whole lot of skills. I'm a web developer. I've done web development. I've, 
I've gone, I've gone into cyber security, I've gone into software development, I've done an IT specialist, IT administrator for an engineering company for over two to three years. So before I now think that, okay, I'm done. I'm done with all these skills, moving from one skills to another, I just have to focus on one. That's when I now feel like, okay, let me just come back to UI UI design, which is product design. So you have to just pick one of them and just focus on it. And I'm going to move them out now. And uh, after that, I will tell you how you can go into it, how you can study, or how you can study on your own, or if you want a course, where you can get a course, and how you can just work on yourself to be better. Can you still hear me? Are you still with me, Pastor Bella? Yes, we can, we can hear you. We just um, want you to repeat what you said last. Uh, they are ready to write down what you want to list, but they, they want uh, to, to give it a title, like list of what. Then, uh, yes, we are, we, are, we are to confess to you, we are struggling with your bass voice. We are trying to reduce the bass in our speaker. So, <laughs> but no, Allah, so they, would, they are ready now. So they said list of what? That's the list of tech skills. List of tech skills. Let's go. To learn. So I'm trying, I'm trying to connect with my system again because my phone is low. I need to tablet. I will, I will connect with my system. Okay, if so. you need, if you need two minutes for that, I can quickly engage them while you do that. Okay, all right, sir. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Um, Victoria mentioned uh, some things that uh, some skills that we can learn in data science. Without a curious answer, who can tell me one? Yes. Uh, careers in data science, right? You can be a data scientist. Very good. Can we clap for him, please? Who can tell me another one? Uh, promise? Hey, no curious answer now. We are teenagers and pretty. Let's remember that. Data analyst, okay. Uh, FZ Bar business intelligence and and developers. Okay, David, okay, that was what you wanted to say. Okay, who's going next? Uh, promise I wish I had something. But I'm at you, you don't want to learn anything today. What did she say? Okay, apart from this different individual from here. Data scientist, business intelligence developer, data engineer, good. Analyst, very good. Can we clap for ourselves, please? Now, what uh, Robiot has told us is that there are many, many sectors that you can also spread into. As a product designer, I said us that we can do learn UI UX. Robio is very good with UI UX. I even sent to his WhatsApp that I should please open his computer and show us some things that he has done so that it will inspire us to maybe want to try our own. So he talked about UI UX. What's the meaning of UI? <laughs> UI UX, they write it as UI slash UX. UI is user. User, can I say it again? Go. Interface. Can we write that down? User interface. Aha. Uh -huh. And the UX means what? User design. The X stands for design. UI, capital letter UI slash UX. User interface slash user design. And it's going to, if time permits us, it will show us some of these things. Then he also talks about cyber something. Who heard that? Cyber what? Cyber security. Cyber security. He's also going to tell us a little more about cyber security. But from all these things that they have, the two of them have, have said so far, did they tell us that we should not become doctors? What did they say about not being a, a tech person? Exactly. If you have a tech skill, Victoria says 
if you have a tech skill and your job, let's say you studied pharmacy and now you have a tech skill and there's somebody else that has only pharmacy. What does she say is the difference between the two of you? That there's a difference between the person who is who has added more value. I was just corrected now that UX is user experience. I'm ready, sir. You said? I said I'm ready, sir. You are ready, okay. Please, can you help us, sir? The UX means user what? The UX is user experience. User experience, sorry about yeah. that. It's not design, yeah, it is yeah. user experience, not user design. Uh, look at me. Don't, let's not assume that it's good that misled us. Okay. Uh, it's user interface, user experience. Thank you. Yeah. I, I'll focus for design. So maybe I was going to even told you, Seth. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, um, yes, please go ahead. Sir. Yeah. So, thank you. Pastor Viola. So sorry, I did not tell you the can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. So I I did not tell you the meaning of UI and UX. I think we've learned that user experience and user interface. So that's the that's the two meaning. So as I was saying, I said there are a lot of skills you can learn. And for what Pastor Viola said, you don't you don't limit yourself. Believe me, you don't limit yourself to to one thing. You can study agriculture. Or animal science and you can become anything that's that's just the fact you can become anything so let me just go into the skills you can learn and the first one i'm going to mention is my first the first skill i go into which is which is it support it support the first skill it support so in it support you have a lot believe me any comp every company in this world every company in any industry they need it guys they need it guys because they need someone to manage they need someone to manage their internet they need someone to manage their server they need someone to manage their website they need someone to manage their their emails and so on m365 and all so you as an it person you are going to learn a lot and there are a lot of skills under that we have cloud engineers that's another skills you can learn cloud engineer cloud engineering cloud engineer and uh, another one that we'll talk about is ui ux which we've been shouting since morning which is also known as product design so ui ux then another one you can learn under design is branding brand design brand so we want to design brand de so when we talk about brand design you see all these logos we see that is flying up and down this google logo that other center logo that tiktok logo that facebook logo that instagram logo is the work of the brand designer that comes together that says that okay let's do it like this and the funny thing is that each logo means a lot okay let me take for example let's take for example if i if i put a liquid a liquid inside a transparent bottle and that liquid is kind of very dark but not dark please follow me that liquid is very dark but not dark it's kind of let's say like blood maybe dark blood which drink comes to your mind uh -huh. They said some people said zobo, some people said cook. God bless you. Let me let me go back to that person that said cook. Yeah. Why did he say cook? It's the because white. it's because of the it's because of the color. Everybody knows that that's the color of cook. Whenever you see that, this thing, even if you see Pepsi, even if you see Pepsi and they did not put the label of Pepsi on it, you will know that it's Pepsi. That's what we call branding even branding is not even the logo that's the funniest thing but it is the work of the brand designer that they will come together they will think about it that what will make this brand stand out that's their work they will make a lot of restart they will make a lot of research they will make a lot of brand strategy they will think they will come together and focus on one before they even design the logo 
And believe me, if you are thinking that uh, how much are they making, is it not just a logo? For that, for that Google logo that you are looking, I think when I watched a video, the person was saying maybe they they collected thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. Is it thousands or millions of dollars for that logo from Google? And you just like, is it not just that logo? You just put that that one yellow, red, and green and put everything together. It's more than that, and that's their work. That's what they are paying for. That's the reason why I said that anything you want to go into, you must make sure that you are very good at it. People know that, okay, you are very good at it. And that's when niching down comes in. You have to niche down, let people know that, okay, this is what you do. It's when people know that, okay, you are very good in this thing, that's when they, they are ready to pay you any amount. Any amount. I'm going to tell us, just remind me, I'm going to tell us a quote, something that's one of my mentor. I'm going to tell us, sorry, you say something? No, sir. Sorry for the interference. Yeah, it's fine, sir. So I'm going to tell us something that one of my mentor in US told me when I when I reached out to him at the end of the everything at the end of my speech. So let me move on with the with the with the skills I'm I'm mentioning. So another skills that we have we have software engineers. We have software engineers. No. All these software, yes. all this software you are seeing on your system that we are using is being developed by software engineers and don't forget when i when i when i define when i define the what tech means to us i said tech is a is a skill is a tool that is out there that someone has developed to to find a solution or to make our work much more easier that's what i said so all the software engineers they've learned a lot of tools they learn a lot of programming language is this c plus plus is this c sharp is it flutter they've learned a lot of a lot of a lot of it so they've learned this these tools they've learned these skills to make sure that they are they stand out to provide another solution to people out there without software engineer maybe we will not we will not even have microsoft word to be able to type or something so they come up together with it to give us a solution to give us to give us another tools that will make our work much more much more easier so another one that i will talk about is um let me say this. I know it's it's something that everybody has been doing, but believe me, it's a tech skill. Content, content creation. All this content creator, believe me, is a tech skill, and it's it's a whole lot. Content creation is a tech skill, and it's a whole lot because you can't just wake up in the morning and say that okay, you want to become a content creator without making your research, without searching for keywords that is ranking in that platform you want to use, without studying one platform that you want to use even if you want to use instagram you have to study the algorithm of instagram how, how instagram works you have to know that the right the right time to post to make your post go viral to make it get more engagement the right keywords to use even if it's linkedin if it's tiktok you have to study those tools if you want to become a content creator and you know how to write very well a well seo optimized content that's even out there on google google we even if they find it on google they will see it that's that's one thing and i won't lie to you a lot of companies are paying for it i have i have a friend that's i have a friend that that's what she's doing she'll just write that's just only she will write an article for them they will give it to them then after giving it to them they will go and publish it and they pay her that's what she, she's making a cool money from it just writing and another thing that, that i'm going to say Another, another skill is web development. All these websites you are seeing, you learn it, you learn a tool, you learn a skill, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, ReactJS, Vue.js, and then if you want to, maybe you make use of WordPress and the likes. So you have to learn something to be to be an expert in what you want to be. So if you want to be an expert in, let's say, web development. The basics. Now, let me just tell you the basics. If you want to, sorry, I've not been saying this with the other skills. I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to reverse back. But let me start with web development. I'm not going to mention all the skills, but we have a lot, a lot of them, a lot of them. And believe me, you have your data, you have your phone with you. It's a thing that you can make research of. So instead of you just sitting down on that TikTok, watching Pella, watching Jarvis, laughing, they are making their own money. Bella is making his money. Javis is making his money. 
Green Jota is making his money. So that's that's just it. You can use that moment, you can use that opportunity to learn something. That's how I operate. If you see me on TikTok, I don't just follow any other people. Yes, I laugh. I follow them to laugh. Some people, certain people to laugh because when you work, tech can take a lot from you. So you just need a moment. You need a time to just free yourself. You laugh, you enjoy before you go back to your life again. So you laugh, but I follow some specific people that I know that's okay. I need their content for my personal growth. So I, and I learn from them. On all my social media, even on TikTok, on, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, that's how I've been operating. So if you want to focus on something, on all your social media, make sure you focus on the people. And believe me, what you search for, let me shock you. I don't know if you've, you've noticed this thing. You search for something on Google. You search for something on Google. And the next thing, you go to your Instagram account and you see that thing on your Instagram account. That thing you search for on Google, you go to your Instagram account, the next thing you see is that thing. They started putting up the contents of that thing you search for. They started putting it up for you on your Instagram account. That's because they've, these things, all these things works hands in hands. The algorithm says that, okay, that's what you want. That's what they put up for you. If you, you are this type of person that loves movies, you search for a lot of movies. If you go to your Instagram, movie will pop up. They will just be giving you anything about movie. They, that's what you'll be seeing. So if you want to, let's go back to, let's come back to what we are discussing. If you want to become a web developer, these are the things you need to know. If you want to become a website developer, these are the tools you need to know or the programming language you need to know. Number one is HTML. Number two is CSS. CSS. It's Number three. CSS. Number HTML, CSS, number three, JavaScript. Java, JavaScript. Yes, let's let's just stop there. So if you know this three, if you know this three very well, believe me, you can you can develop anywhere, you can design any website. And last two, please. The last one, and this website of the thing that we are talking about is being divided into two. We have the front end parts and we have the back end developer. We have front end developer, we have back end developer. So if you want to become a front-end developer, that's when you learn CSS, JavaScript, HTML. But if you now want to go into back-end, if you want to become a back-end developer, that's when you learn PHP. You learn PHP with it. So that PHP will be your back-end engine. If you want to do anything, you learn database and all. And believe me, website development has been very, very much more easier now. People are making use of WordPress. If you learn WordPress very well, a lot of companies are using it they are very good you get your job you get your money wordpress shopify that's another tool platform you can use to build your website or webflow so now let me move into do you get that yes sir we got it sir now let me move into ui ux so if you want to become a ui ux designer you want to become a product designer we have a lot of tools but i'm going to mention two most important tools two important tools and popular tool that we use in UI US design. Number one is Figma. Number one is Figma. And number two is Adobe XD. Adobe XD. Please AD, 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 OBE, space X and D. Adobe AD, X. AD, OBE, space X and D. Adobe XD. <laughs> So that's, that's the tools, and we still have a, a whole lot of it. So oh, the, lot of, the first one is Figma, F-I-G-M-A. OK. Figma, F-I-G-M-A, and now yes. Adobe XD. Adobe XD. And another tool that we make use of is we, use of, we make use of Protopy, Protopy, P-R-O-T-O-P-I-E. Protopy. So if you want to go into UI US, you will, you will understand more how these tools works. If you want to go into, and there are still a lot of them, there are still a lot of them to learn. There are still, as, as you, but to start with, that's the first thing, that's the tools you need. Now let's move, if you want to go into software development, 
I think I've mentioned the skills before. If you want to go into software development, believe me, software developers, they read a lot. Because one of the tools or skills you have to learn is you have to learn C++ programming language. You learn C++, you learn C Sharp, you know how to make use of Git. That's Git Hub, and we have Git. Are you with me? C++, C Sharp, if you want to become a software developer, you learn C++, C Sharp, you learn Git, you learn Git Hub, you learn Python. Python as in Python, yes. The real yes, Python. As in Python. The real Python, like mm -hmm. Python. Yeah. So that's that's just the basic for you. If you know this programming language, if you know the basics of this programming language, you you are good to go as a software engineer. Then you you, you can build up on it. Then the next one that I made mention of is brand design. Brand design and the tools we use in brand designing is we make use of Adobe Illustrator. Adobe then Illustrator. We use Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop. We make we make use of color. Some use some people use color draw. Some people use color draw, and some people use Figma. I remember I've, I've designed a, a logo for a company with Figma. This was it this year? No, late last year. I've designed a logo for a company with Figma. So. You need Figma. So those are the tools you need to learn if you want to become a brand designer. And uh, what other tools did I mention? Uh, what other tools? What other tools? Uh, sorry, what other skills? We left a message for you in the chat box. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, I can see the message, sir. Which one? I said two, two minutes more. Okay, okay, two minutes more. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let me just let me just stand up. So that's that's a whole lot. So, but if you want to learn, let me just give you the platform you can make use of. If you want to learn, believe me, you have you have you have YouTube. Listen, listen. You want to tell us platforms where you can learn, places where you can learn. When I when I started UI US design, when I started UI US design. I started with with YouTube, so I downloaded a lot. I downloaded a lot, a lot of videos. I watched a lot of videos. I burned a lot of data. Then from there, from YouTube, I moved into Coursera. First one YouTube, second one Coursera. C O U R S E R A. Coursera. Coursera. Then I I got I bought some courses. I I bought some courses on Coursera. Then. I learn on it with Google, then I learn with it. And uh, the, another best way you can learn is following, I've mentioned that before, you have to follow the like-minded people on all your social media platform, follow their pages. Like if you want to become a photo designer, if you want to become a US, go and follow people that are doing that thing. Follow them and study, read through their posts, read through their posts, even if it's for you to just reach out to them one or more, reach out to them one or more. And they, they will be, I would like to say so many of them are, are much more available to to help you to to start your career and um so i said i'm going to tell us something that my mentor told me believe me there is there is no guru in this industry in this tech industry there is no guru that's what he told me that there is no guru that someone ah that person is a guru that person knows a lot that person that person is a dogu when it comes to your us design no it's it's what what differentiates him is the the zeal to learn every day. Because tech, one thing about tech is that you have to learn every day. You learn every day. Every day you have a lot of tools. For example, now we have ChatGPT out there, so you have to learn how to use ChatGPT to do one or two things. So if you don't learn every day, if you don't practice every day, 
you you'll be left behind so you have to learn every day that's just that about that thank you so much thank you very much Robert. can we appreciate him please he said you have to learn every day he said there is no guru you have to always practice and practice and practice there is no what and you have to learn every month uh, every, day. every day so um i'm sorry the the base was a little bit high and i know you didn't hear some parts of it but it's also going to um help us to try as much as possible to send us some little things that we can see and um use to remember what we have heard today uh thank you very much robaya we are really grateful for me i'm even learning a lot uh, I wrote Adobe X, uh, XD instead of XD, right? Uh, thank God for our mom is in the house as uh, a computer person. She was correcting us in the in the chat box. So we'll, we'll be happy if you can just help us put uh, this small information into notes. Uh, you can send it to me on WhatsApp later, not today. And uh, I can always send it to them for them to... Uh, think about it and try to find where their interest lies in um with this we have come to the end of uh the talks from our speakers and we are going to be taking just two questions because our parents are already waiting for us so just two questions uh Dane has one who has the second one good two uh i want a teenager teenager to ask me a question to ask them questions so uh daniel i'll give you a microphone now and then uh, please our guest help us to listen in so that you know who has the question then um excellent that Lazis also has his question uh, our own question please come from my opinion yeah. Yeah, people that do local and um, plan designer are they the same people Okay, did you get that, sir? People that do let's him, let's okay. I'm listening. Say it again. People that do logo and brand designer, are they the same people, people? that do logo and brand design, are they the same people? Uh, yes, help, if you help us note it down. Okay, okay, all right, sir. Excellent. Please come ask your question. Must you be able to use a computer before you be able to study data science? Uh, I think this is for Victoria. Uh, if you want to learn data science, must you be able to use a computer? Okay, these are our two questions. Uh, Rabbi, are you ready so that you can go first? And then uh, Victoria, yes, second question. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah thank you so much, my little book, for that question. So. The people that design, that are core brand designer, they are the ones that do logo too. So that's 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 their work. Can you hear me? The people, the people that do logo, they are core brand designer. But the issue that we are having nowadays is that some company, for example, I still have that example. Someone messaged me that he wanted to do a logo for his company, and it was like I should do a logo for his company. And I told him that okay, if I want to do a look for your company, you are going to give me so so amount. And he shouted, I ah, it's not just an image, just give me. And I told him that okay, it's not it's not just about doing a circle or do, doing this. I'm not going to do that for you. Fine. Out of what I'm going to give you, there's going to be a logo and some other usage. Because when we talk about brand, I'm going to give you how to use your logo. Because you can't just give your logo to anybody, they will use it anyhow. And if they use it anyhow, with that document that I'm going to give you, you can sue them that okay, this today is not how to use our local and they are going to pay for it. So it's it's the work of the people that that do that do logo. The people, sorry, the people that do logo, they are called brand designer. But we have some people out there that are calling themselves brand designer, but they are not brand designer, designer like that. They just do logo for you. I don't know if you know all this logo that I used to see, they will just mock it up, put phone number, put put address underneath, put everything on there, and they'll call it logo. That's not that's not a logo. So to answer your question, the people that do logo, they are brand designers. 
Thank you very much, sir. People that do logos are brand designer, but there's a lot to being a brand designer. And you can do a lot uh, from apart from being only logo. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. Um, okay, mommy, I have a question. Okay, thank you. Um, um, Victoria, are you there? Yes, yes. Yeah, um, please, um, um, can you um, go ahead with your with the answer to your question? Did you get your own question? Okay, she's she's asking that. Um, do you need to have a computer before you can learn data science? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, um, I would say for a start, for a beginner, you don't necessarily need to have a computer. You can use your phone. And um, if you're interested in learning data um, data science and you don't have a computer yet, I would recommend you get um, this data camp application on your phone. So you can start with your phone. Data camp, data camp, you can download it from um, Google Play Store. It's an application, you can learn anything data. So on the long run, like I won't say you won't need a you won't need a computer on the long run, but for a start, since you are just starting, you're a beginner, then you can start with your phone. And like I said, you can download the data camp app. Then as time goes on, hopefully you'll be able to get a laptop where you'll be able to download um applications or rather software, software that you can use for data science. The reason why I'm recommending data camp is the fact that you can do any, like you can practice while you are learning. So there is an inbuilt, like it's more like the built-in, um, um, all this software that you might need to download on your laptop. Let's say you want to use Power BI now. There is an inbuilt Power BI on data camp where you can practice. You're learning, you practice on that same um, data camp. So, but as time goes on, you will need to have your own laptop. So, yeah. but you can start with your phone. Yeah, you can start with your phone. Uh, we have we have one more question from one of our mommies, and uh, we'd like you to listen in. Um, just to summarize what you just said, you don't need a computer to start, but um, you can start with your phone. There's an app that is recommending that you can download from Play Store. It's called Data Camp, Camp like Instagram, Data and Camp. So. If you download that app, there are courses that you can start learning there. But said on the long run, you might need to get a laptop to now practice and do more. Thank you very much. Um, come, please. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I want to appreciate the resource person, and I also want to appreciate the church. Uh, it's very timely, you know, and also exciting. Um, for a, a long time now, I've been trying to get someone that will teach my children about coding, expose them to artificial intelligence and even do better science. But my worry is um, looking at the environment we are, the exposure is not really much. And uh, like one of the resource person said just now, that they could actually learn some of these skills on YouTube and Coursera. But I want to say that on their own, some of these children at this age, they do not have access to even a phone. They might have interest. So it would be a very good thing for, it's not all parents that actually know about this. That's the truth. I think one of the good things we can do is to start with the parents, to bring parents together, to get them enlightened, let them see the importance of exposing these children. Because this is a digital world. It is a digital world. So once the parents are enlightened, they see the importance of getting the children exposed to all this, then they can make provision for the children. I think it would be a good thing. Yes, yeah, this is a very good start, a very exciting one. Like I said, I've been looking for who would take my children through all this. I know a little of it. And for the fact I don't have the time to do that for my children, I will need someone to do that. So, but not all parents are enlightened in this aspect. So please, if we can actually organize this, it's good starting from a church where we can bring parents together to explain to them the importance of getting their children exposed to this and getting the gadgets that they will need for this. It should really be a very good one. And also help us to know what platform, yes, we can go on YouTube, what they need to learn at this 
stage at this age and what platform caters for that and if you have one it would be very good for us to know about like i say thank you very much for this we really appreciate it thank you very much can i give mommy a love clap are you tired Thank you, mommy. Thank you for appreciating this. Uh, our take home there is that we should try as much as possible. I'll discuss with mommy at the end of this program to see if we can educate uh, parents to, to see what uh, is possible and maybe encourage their parents to, to uh, encourage their children to do things like this. Uh, I, I know some of us, uh, like uh, Zion, has done a basic coding uh, course before and she has been able to build uh, some websites. Uh, which means that some parents, you know, maybe just a few around might know, uh, but moving forward, we might be able to look for avenues to to, to get them uh, trained and also uh, get information from our resource persons to see uh, coding-friendly environments that they can uh, learn these kind of things from. Uh, and on the chat too, a parent was asking if we can actually start a a, a real skill just like we suggested to us here and people that are interested can join we we'll also discuss with mommy and uh we'll see where we go from there thank you very much man. um so uh i would not want to waste our time uh victoria and Robio, please can you help us uh, uh check where we can learn these things online for for our own age 13 to from 9 to, to uh, 18 for us to learn all these kind of things and please recommend for us. I would like to invite um, uh, Mommy, the HOD of the department, which also doubles as the provincial court of the Junior Church of the Gym. Can you put your hands together for Mommy now? Yes, come and give us uh, a vote of thanks as we round up uh, this session. Thank you very much, Mommy, for giving us this opportunity and believing that it's worth it to stay back. Thank you, Mommy. Praise the Lord. Uh, on the first note, I'd like to appreciate our resource persons. It was really wonderful. We really appreciate you. We want to say a big thank you. And all of us, we are going to say a standing ovation, even in absentia, but I know they are here. I'm going to give them a standing ovation of thank you and a standing ovation of I love you clap. Are we ready? Let's stand on our feet. Let's stand on our feet. One, two, go. Love clap for us. Uh, mm, mm. Yes, uncle and auntie, we love you. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord continue to prosper you and take you Amen. to great life in, life in Jesus' name. Really, Amen. thank you very much. We are happy to receive you <laughs> and hoping to see more of you, to hear from you, and to learn more from you very soon. And like I said, that you should recommend. For us, a kind of an app or a venue where we can learn these things the more. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very Amen. much. Amen. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, oh. Everybody, wave there, wave there, wave there. Thank bye you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This is just the beginning. The beginning of good things happening to us in Harvest Center. Everybody listen to me. We have no time more. So please, I want to beg of us. Don't just see it as ordinary learning. Don't just see it as, as usual, maybe seminar or workshop or conference that we have come to see, and then we forget it. This one, we are not leaving it alone. In fact, myself, I want to benefit from it so that very soon we have a lot of need in the church. By the time we begin to make money eh, from the from online uh, business, then you've got to say to her, oh, yeah, you buy a microphone, you buy this, or you gather our money together and do what and buy one thing for us in the church. So please get involved. Please to your parents, let them help you with the use of, of, their, of their phones. Let them allow you, give you access to their phone so that you can learn. Uh, very soon, I have it in my, well, let me say, God laid it in my heart that we can probably open an IT center here in Harrison. Oh. It is possible. 
as soon as possible. Our queen, Pastor Pius, uh, just let us say the meeting go. He has a meeting. I will discuss it with him, and I will make sure that I, I push them forward so that we can realize this very uh, mission. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. And above all, all of us, let's say, of Abiola, let's rise on our feet and give our hope, Abiola, to a love kiss eh, for what for a big thank you. Are we ready? One, two, go.